I want to tell you about a gymnast whose name was Hallie Sheriff. You won't find any history books that talk about her or any Olympic videos that profile her routines. She is someone who redefined the sport of gymnastics in the 1960s. She was the Nadia before Nadia, the Mukina before Mukina, the Simone before Simone, but she never really had a chance to shine on the international stage. Hallie started her gymnastics career at the age of six in Champaign, Illinois, with legendary coach Charlie Pond. Charlie's daughter, Michelle, claimed that the child prodigy mastered every skill that she could possibly teach her in her very first lesson. In the fall of 1960, Hallie's family moved to the little farming community of Blue Mound, Illinois. Using a Russian training model, which in the U.S. was totally unheard of at that time, Hallie's mother coached her gifted daughter to perfect routines far beyond the Olympic standard of the day. At the age of 11, Hallie dominated gymnastics in America, receiving national recognition. After winning the West Texas Open in 1964, a reporter from the Texas City Sun predicted that Hallie in 1968 would be the first Olympic gymnast to win five gold medals in Olympic history. Today, in the age of carpeted spring floors and padded balance beams, it's hard to comprehend what this four foot 10 inch physical genius achieved 55 years ago. Her bar routine was revolutionary for the times. No stops, no pauses, unique skills, and unparalleled combinations set Hallie apart from everyone in the world. Her floor routine was done on a basketball court. In the first National Gymnastics Championship of Mexico, Hallie astonished the judges as she finished her floor exercise by tumbling out of a double full. Simply unbelievable. No spring floor, no mats, just wood. Hallie's amazing aptitude for dance was just one of the notable differences which separated her from other gymnasts. That coupled with her extraordinary technique, flexibility, and strength positioned Hallie to be the next huge gymnastic star in America. With an expected Olympic debut in Mexico City in 1968, it was assumed that Hallie would rewrite the history of women's gymnastics. In March of 1966, after an exhibition in Essex, England, the UK Daily Mirror stated, America's top gymnast is simply fantastic, spellbinding audiences. The British Gymnastics Society gave Hallie and her mother a silver plaque inscribed with the following words. Thank you for bringing us Hallie, the finest woman gymnast we have ever seen. Sadly, those Olympic dreams came to an abrupt end in the summer of 1966. Returning from an exhibition in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, the Sheriff family plane was caught in a violent storm. Hallie, along with her parents and three other passengers from their community, were immediately killed. Although Hallie did not get her chance to reign as a gold medal champion, she did leave a legacy of legendary achievement. Thanks to recently discovered archival footage, a new documentary, and recognition from events like tonight, Hallie Sheriff's story is finally being told. Her tenacity, drive, and sheer love of the sport of gymnastics is sure to inspire gymnasts and lovers of gymnastics for generations to come.